everybody. So this is the door that you would come in every morning. So the mums and dads line up here and sometimes the children have a little play before the door is opened. Let's have a little look. In here we have our locker room. So this is where you would keep your coat and your bag. Um, and here's all our trays as well, all the boys and girls trays. And the adult would sign you in here. Okay, let's go and have a little look inside. So we've got here all of our names. So you would find your own name, hang it up on the trees, and then go and sit down on the carpet for a story. Now let's have a little look in the classroom. We've got over here our Lego table. So over here, the children like making lots of uh, models and they just display it over here on the window. So. Now we've got our kitchen over here that the adults make snack for everybody every morning. Over here is where we often do our guided activities. Now we've got a small world uh, hungry caterpillar activity set up at the moment. And we've got lots of toys um, and games and puzzles that the children can come and choose and take out themselves to play with. Now this is where the toilets are. So you can come in the toilets anytime you want. Just come and ask um, an adult if you need any help or go in on your own if you are happy. Now this is our carpet area. So this is where we do our register and this is where we do our whole class teaching um, and sometimes circle time on news. We've got an interactive whiteboard that is set up um, for the children to play with whilst we're, pl whilst we're exploring um, and also we use that for teaching. This is also our construction area so we've got lots of blocks and we've got lots of small world toys that the children can get out um, when they want to play with and we've got train tracks and we've got cars and musical instruments and we've got some tablets that we sometimes get out as well. Now this over here is Margot, she is our class mascot and sometimes she goes home with the boys and girls and they write in their diary what they've been up to on the weekend. Now over here we have our birthdays and we've also got our rules. Now this here is the desk for the adults and this one is the desk for the children. So you can use this computer, we've set out lots of educational games on there and some of the older boys and girls can help you to get on it and you can practice using your mouse. Now it's also the reception desk for our doctors. So we've got, look, uh, so we've got a little waiting area here and then we've got the treatment room and we've got the little patient's bed as well so you can so the boys and girls love coming in here to play and to pretend to be doctors and we've got all sorts of things set out on here that you can come and get whenever you want when you are playing in here. Now this area changes and sometimes it might be an aeroplane or a shops or all sorts of things. Now over here is our fine motor area. So we've got at the minute some Play-Doh set out and we've got lots of little things that will help you with your fine motor muscles and your muscles in your hands to get you ready for writing. And there's all sorts of other things on here that you can come and get yourself that will also help you with those muscles in your hands. Now over here we've got a great big creative area because the children love the creative area at the moment. So we've got our easel, where we do our painting. Um, we've also got a little writing area here. So at the moment, there's a hungry caterpillar activity set out. 
You can do some writing about the hungry caterpillar. And we've got here our creative area resources. So you can come and choose anything you like from this area. And we've got our investigation area as well. So at the moment we've got a plastic butterfly and caterpillar in there, but we've had real caterpillars in our classroom before. Now over here we've got an extension to our creative area because at the moment the children just all want to be in this area so we've made it bigger. So we've got at the minute some little bits, um, some so you could make your own hungry caterpillar or you can choose something else to make. Now this area is our nice little quiet area. We've got a lovely reading area in the corner here. And we've got some maths things set out. And then we've also got our home corner in here as well. So we've got all the little bits so you can role play like you are at your house. And we've got some soft toys here that you can choose from as well got lots of things in this nice little corner. Right, so that's our classroom. And we've also got our outdoor area as well. Now this classroom stays open all day long because we've got a roof over here. So even when it's raining, the children can come outside into this area. If it's cold, they just go and get their coats from their locker. Now, we have our sand area here. We've got our wellies in case it's raining. We've got our water area. We've got our mud kitchen. And we've got our little house where the children can do some role play. We've also got some chart boards out here so the boys and girls can practice their writing. Now here we've got our shed, so we've got lots more toys and lovely things to play with in there so the children can ask for things out of the shed. We've also got a stage over here, so we've got some pots and pans that the children might like to bang over here and we've got our stage for performing on. Now over here we've got our plants and we've also got a little digging area. So you can pretend you're doing some planting over here. Now we've got lots of construction things in here as well. So we've got the crates over here. And then we've got all sorts of other construction activities. So the children like making all sorts of things like uh, a horse stables or a haunted house or a castle or whatever they can imagine. We've also got the tires in the corner there. So the children work together to roll the tyres over um, and uh, include them in their extravagant creations. Now they also use their shoulder muscles and their muscles in their arms when they're doing this. So it all helps with writing as well. Now we've got our apparatus out here. So again, it all helps with their physical development. And we've got our climbing wall and our slide. So this is the early years playground, but there's also the big playground for the rest of the school that we sometimes use when the rest of the school are in their classes. And that's got even more apparatus to play on. Now over here, we have another role play area. So again, this changes, but at the minute it's a campsite. And we've got all our vehicles lined up over here. So you can come and choose a vehicle, put some petrol or diesel in them and off you go. And that's everything. Okay, bye.